Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist, and in this video, we are going to be talking about bleach bypass. So, bleach bypass is something that I use in almost all of my grades to add a bit more of a denser look because I'm trying to achieve kind of rich RE colors, but we're unfortunately not shooting on RE. So, what is a bleach bypass? According to Wikipedia, this term bleach bypass, also known as skid bleach or silver retention, is a chemical effect which entails either partial or complete skipping of the bleaching function during the processing of colored film. The images usually have reduced saturation and exposure latitude along with increased contrast and graininess. So this is the effect that we are trying to emulate and the good thing about this is that you can do it all in Resolve you don't have to download any plugin or any DCTLs to achieve this kind of effect So I'm going to show you how to do a bleach bypass effect and after that I'm going to show you how I usually use bleach bypass on all my projects to achieve the look that I'm going for so let's get into the video. All right, now I'm in my color page and I have this spectrum of color over here to give you an idea of how a bleach bypass effect will affect colors in an image like this. So let's go ahead and create a serial node, which you can go here and add a serial node or the shortcut for it is option S. And then after that, I'm going to create a layer node. So you can either choose option L or you can click into the node and add a layer node. So the bleach bypass contains only three nodes and I'm going to label them first. So the first node is just a basic adjustment and the second node is just a placeholder. You don't have to do anything on it. And the third node is where we do our desaturation. I'm going to start with the third node going into our primaries and dropping down our saturation to zero. And you see that all the colors is lost. But not to worry. Next, what you have to do is go into your layer mixer node by clicking on it and right click composite mode and go down to hard light. So once you click this, you see that the colors are coming back, but there's a intense contrast happening here where if I disable this, see this was before and now this is after. That's a very high contrast happening, but not to worry. We are going into our adjustment node and going into our long wheels and shadow. I'm going to lift up the shadow to around 0 0.3. This is so that we are not crushing any of our shadows when we add this onto our footage later on. So once that is done, you can group them all together by selecting everything. Right click and create a compound node. And what you can do is also label this compound node by double clicking on the label and labeling bleach bypass. All right, so now that you have your bleach bypass, so how you can save your bleach bypass effect in your stills album or your power grid album is by right clicking on your viewer and grabbing a still and it will appear over here like this. So once you have it, how you're going to apply it is, so let's say there's a grade over here already. If you right click and apply grade, it will remove the previous grade that you have done. So that's not something we want to do. But if you right click and you append to note graph, then it will be put at the back of the note graph. Let's say I want to put it in the middle over here. So how you can do that is by making some space over here and then dragging this whole note graph until you see a plus sign on your mouse. If it's like this, without the plus, it will get applied. So make sure that you're dragging and then the plus sign appears, then you can drag it and it will appear in the middle of your note graph or wherever you want to put it. So let's move on to some clips where I can show you how I usually use the bleach bypass. There's quite a lot of nodes over here. I don't want you to get shocked. We are only focusing on the bleach bypass effect, which is located over here. And I usually like to put it before the CSC because I found that it gives the best result when it's still in the log profile instead of Rec 709, which is downstream the CST over here. So you can see that the effect is very minimal, but if I turn this up in my key output gain, which is kind of like the opacity of the node, if I turn the node all the way up, you see that it's 
very contrasty and this is not something that you would want to go for. That's why I will go into my key output and gain and turn it down to something like 0 0.2. Or if you want a heavier effect, maybe you can go for 0 0.5, which is 50%. This looks kind of good also. And let's move on to the second clip which also fo just focus on the bleach bypass effect. Right now it's at 0 0.2, but if I go to 0 0.5, yeah, you have a darker look, but it's getting a bit too dark. So I'm going to get it back to 0 0.2. And this is also another instant where I add a bleach bypass. So the bleach bypass effect desaturates everything and also adds a bit of density to the grade, which is very favorable most of the time because you don't want your grid to look too cheap like it was shot in Rec. 709. It looks very amateurish when there's a grid that looks very poppy, very vibrant. The direction that I usually go for is more of a western company tree kind of look. So there's very dense colors in those kind of grid. And now moving on to a brighter scene which you might be able to see the bleach bypass effect more clearly. Again, focus on the bleach bypass over here. And we are going to turn it up by resetting the key up again. So you can see that it's very dense. It's a bit too, too desaturated. But let's say if I move it to 0 0.5, let's do half. If I turn the bleach bypass effect on and off, you see that this is very vibrant, very poppy. So you can reduce those kind of colors with a bleach bypass effect. So once I added the bleach bypass, it looks more expensive, so, so to say. And this is another shot where you can see nice greens over here. Without the bleach bypass, it's looking too vibrant. But with it, it's very nice colors. And let's increase it to 0 0.5. And you get even darker, denser colors. This is another shot with more skin tone. Without the bleach bypass, it looks bright. And with, it looks a bit more darker. So yeah, usually I just turn down the key output gain to 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, sometimes even 0 0.1 to just add a little bit of density to knock off the vibrancy of what you get straight out of the camera. And I even have directors coming to me saying that, oh, this Sony footage looks a bit like Ari, like what did you do over there? Then I say, definitely it's the bleach bypass effect because it just knocks off the saturation and polish up the whole grade. That's why I love it so much and I use it on almost all of my projects. So that's it for this video. If you found something useful, feel free to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.